I'm with Ralph Hymans, who has, with the Governor-General, unveiled this extraordinary work. Congratulations, it's superb. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's an honour to do this painting, real privilege. Tell us about it. Tell us about the, the symbolism in the painting. Well, it's... Well, I mean, the symbolism permeates everything about the painting. It's really a narrative portrait and, and really does commemorate some of her core beliefs, you know, um, commitment to women's issues, to Indigenous rights and, and uh, equal rights and um, even the concerns of rural Australia as well and her origins. So it's, it's quite an all-encompassing portrait. As a sitter, what was her excellency like? She was an inspiration. She was really very warm we developed quite a friendship. She, she has a very personal approach, and that's something I wanted to, communi- to communicate in the work. She's very open, and so even the gesture is, is an open one and uh, welcoming. And that's how, that's how I found her. It was, it was wonderful. It was a real a wonderful experience to paint her. How do you compare painting a portrait of the Governor-General to some of your other paintings? You, you've painted the Queen, yeah. Princess Mary. Uh, they're all extraordinary people. Yes, um, as is the Governor General. She's, she's an extraordinary individual. Um, you know, we had a really close personal rapport, and I encourage a lot of collaboration. And, and I think I felt she was quite invested in the process. She was very intrigued and interested, and there was a lot of sharing of ideas because um, I really did want this portrait to be very meaningful and to say something for generations to come. You unveiled it with her, which must have been very special. And I guess until that moment, is there an uneasiness about how it will be received? I, I think so, but I, I've already had so many positive reactions from, from, those who, from the Governor-General herself who had a, a, saw this privately in advance that I felt pretty confident that it would be well received. But it's always a tense moment for every artist. Of course it is, yeah. What is next for Ralph Hyman's? Because you, you've had an extraordinary career already. So when you have uh, commissions such as the Queen, Princess Mary, the yes. Governor-General, yes. um, where, where do you now look and, and do you just wait to see what comes along? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, life is full of surprises. And there, there are a lot of exciting projects in the wings, um, some that I, I unfortunately can't disclose yet, but um, internationally renowned um, statesmen and, and uh, philanthropists and there's a, a famous actors. There's so many sort of projects that I'm working on at the moment. It's very exciting. In Australia, I'm doing another portrait of Michael Kirby for the Kirby Institute. So that's also, he's been a, a wonderful supporter throughout my career. So that, that's coming up soon. Yeah. Well, congratulations and thank you very much for speaking to Sky News on a very special night for you. Thank you. It's a real pleasure.